Hi everyone, Kelly here. Um, today I'm going to be doing a tag. It's called Tag um, My Makeup Story. Um, so if I keep looking down, because I'm going to be looking down for most of the time because um, all the questions are on my iPad. Um, so sorry if I keep looking down. Um, I haven't been tagged by anybody, um, but I really wanted to do this tag because it interested me. Um, I've not, it's my first tag, so I've not done another, any other tags before. Um, so I'm going to go straight into it. Um, question one is, how old were you when you first started wearing makeup? Um, I'm going to say eight. Yes, eight. Not full on makeup, just like... Um, my eyeshadow um, when I was going to like parties and stuff, um, so eight, and then that's mainly because um, I have an older sister, and I used to play about with her makeup. Um, but when I fully, fully got into makeup, I would say I was about third, no, so about fourteen, and I was fully into makeup. Um, question two, how did you get into makeup? Um, like I said before, um, living with an older sister who's seven years older than me, um, I got into it um, because of her. Um, she would mess around with makeup on me and then I'd mess around with makeup on her. Um, I'd pinch a little bit of our eyeshadow and like blush her every now and again. Um, and she used to give me the stuff she didn't want anymore. Um, so, yeah, my sister, I say it's living with an older sister, um, that's what got me into makeup. Um, question three favourite brands? Um, my favourite brands are Urban Decay. Um, sleek, benefit. Um, I'm trying to think. I'm looking around. Number seven. Um, and then MUA, cheapest chips and just amazing. Um, especially the eyeshadows. Um, really, really nice. Um, and also like um the natural collection. I do like their mascara and I love their blushes. The blushes are amazing. Um, so I think that's all the brands that I really, really do like. Um, there's Maybelline. Yeah. Um, question four. If you could only wear four produ products on your face, what would they be? Um, I'm going to say a BB cream, blusher, an eyeshadow, and mascara. Oh, that was easy. Um, question five. Favourite thing about makeup? Um, the favourite thing about makeup to me is it boosts your confidence. Um, I know this very well because like a month ago I couldn't wear any makeup for a month because I had infotigo. If I did I would get infotigo all over my face. Um, so every time we went out I was clinging on to my boyfriend like anything and just looking down at the ground because it, it just feels like everybody's like staring at you thinking good god he's got no makeup on look at the state of that. Even though I didn't look a state without any makeup on it just runs through your mind um, so it's just a confidence boost um, for me personally um, and I just love buying makeup when I know I'm going out and I'm going to buy makeup I get so excited um, and I just love playing with it, applying it, doing different things with it. 
Um, there are so many things you can do with makeup, and I just love love makeup. Um, so many, well, so many looks, and I just love it. I love love makeup. I'm obsessed with makeup. Um, it's a really confidence boost f for me, and I just love makeup full stop. Um, what was I on then? So it's question number six now, high end versus low end. Um, about two years ago, all I used to spend my money on and all I used to apply was Urban Decay and Benefit. Um, but now I've got into like the low end a bit more. So MUA, like I said before, MUA eyeshadows are amazing. Um, and then you have, what else have we, do we have? We have Natural Collection, like I said, the blushes are amazing. Um, you've got things like Sleek. Um, so, at the moment, like... <laughs> There is also number seven, which I class as high class, um, which I'm really getting into at the moment. But really, at the moment, for me, it's low end. Um, even though there are there are better colours and things in the high end, um, I think you can just get. Um, I mean low end you can get more for your money and there are some great low um low end um products out there um so at the moment it's low end for me um number seven one tip to a beginner um one tip to a beginner can't i have two well i'm going to say this one first um nudes just buy all nudes to begin with because you cannot go wrong with nudes um, they suit most people um, well everybody uh, nudes um, nudes a mascara and a nude lipstick and I say a pink blusher um, so just nudes and then the second tip would be, even though there's not, you can't have a second tip, but I'm going to have a second tip, but I'm going to cheat, is go to your store, like, I know, Boots and Debenhams, I know you can go there, you sit down and you can speak to the professionals, and they will tell you what skin type you have, what skin colouring you have, they will match you up to everything, they tell you what suits you, what doesn't suit you, and they will match you up to a foundation. Um, so that's my tips for a beginner. Um, eight. One makeup trend you have never understood. Hmm. I got two for this as well. I'm just going to do two. Um, the first one is eyelashes. I love fake eyelashes I do but there is a point to when I hate false eyelashes when you see people there's I know there's Katie Price and I know there's Chantel um, they have these false eyelashes that are really really thick really really long and they just look like you've got like a bird's wing hanging off your eyelashes I do not think it looks nice at all um, this is just my opinion um, it's look like like a drag queen um, I do not get it I do not like them um, the second one is people I know a lot of people have said this but I hate this too and I do not understand it People, they put foundation on, and they don't bring it down your neck. So you're like, 
brown or orange ear and like your neck is white it's like is that a fashion statement is that a trend or aren't people looking in the mirrors um, for instance even on TV they do it I don't know if any of you have noticed but for example Amy on Emmerdale Farm yeah if you know what I'm on about you have seen it it's orange and then it's white so next time Emmerdale Farm I know she hasn't been wearing much makeup lately but you can see it isn't blended at all and she's on telly and there's loads of people watching her what is that all about anyway anyway <laughs> um question number nine what do you think about the beauty community here on YouTube um, it's wonderful um, I've made some really nice friends on here um, these girls they put a lot of time and effort into their videos um, I love watching them for tips and tricks and yeah they are all lovely um, me personally I haven't had any like hate on my YouTube touch wood um, but I know some of these girls do and it's just there's no need for it at all it is just mean um, they spend a lot of time and effort into doing these videos um, if you do not like a video I suggest you just come out of it um, there is no need to write stupid nonsense there's no need for it no need to be mean at all um, so yeah I'm loving the beauty community on here everybody is so nice I've made a lot of friends um, to you guys watching um, yeah I just love it um, and I love being a part of it um, so that is my tag as I said I've not done one before um, I tag all of you watching um, I will put the questions down below um, so if you want to do it you can do it yourself um, please put it if please put it as a response to this video and I will watch it um, I have watched quite a few of these and I'm loving them um, so that it is oh um, thank you so much for watching um, and I'll see you again in my next video okay take care bye